Again, people overcomplicate it. You know what? Yeah, I'm degree educated, but I'm a simple guy, really. You know, okay. uh, and I think it was Tony Robbins who says that complexity is the enemy of execution. Absolutely. And we've got to keep it simple here. Uh, and you're right. I had nothing in common with kidnappers and people who say, oh, look for the common ground. Hey, yeah, do you know what? I supported that football team once and... Oh, yeah. You're a Fulham no. fan? Okay, great. Yeah, We're yeah. going to get oh, along. Yeah. I like cheese too. And it's like, no. And you've only got to look at siblings. Any, anyone who's with kids can testify <laughs> this. They've got the greatest link of commonality in the world, but they don't all fight and moan and squabble. So looking for elements of commonality, it's a bit of a red herring there. And so you're better off going, right, what is driving this person? If I can listen and articulate back, actually, this person's needs are, they need a safe face here. Okay, you're dealing with somebody who may be three or four levels above you in an organization. Is you know full well, they're, particularly if they may be a baby boomer or even a Gen X, that they're not going to take too kindly if you're a Gen Z. Um, Tell them what to do. You know that's not going to go down well. Right. You know they want an element. I'm, okay, I appreciate. I'm generalizing here, but stay with me. Is you know full well they're going to feel or want to feel like they're in control. They're going to save face. They want an input in this. But you can play to that. You can use these techniques we've just gone through, um, clarifying and verifying with them, okay, how would you like this done? What does success look like for you? How can I best support you with this? Uh, you know, it, it sounds like this is a really important project that you want oversight of every step of the way, and you want me to check in with you three times a week. Is that correct? Actually, Scott, no, it may be yes to start with, but over time it may be, do you know what, Scott, I trust you now because you've established your credibility and therefore rapport and carry on and speak to me once a week instead. So rapport really is just the feeling. It can be that warm, fuzzy feeling, I guess, when you feel listened to, you feel seen, heard and understood, you feel there's some trust there and see rapport as almost the umbrella with which all of that sits under. Yeah, you actually care about the other person. You're, genuinely. Right. G g genuinely. And, okay, you may argue, well, Scott, how could you care about the kidnappers? Well, I cared about them in the sense of I needed to get the hostages back. And if I, if I was really judgmental or sarcastic or dismissive in our communication with them, even though I might have felt that and thought that, that wasn't going to go down well. So I had to, I had to genuinely, intention matters, I had to genuinely put on that, that mindset of everybody needs to walk away here and it's going to mean difficult conversations, managing expectations, high emotion, but ultimately it's focusing on what is the desired outcome here. And in my case, it was a safe release of the hostages, but for you, it could be, you know, getting that deal over the line, building a better relationship with your kids, whatever. Mm -hmm.